I get a call and the man at GW says you need to come in. They found a mass tumor in the frontal lobe of uh, my left frontal lobe and it was a brain tumor. Joe, from the moment he was diagnosed to the year and a half later when he passed away, he woke up every day to take care of someone else as best he could. And yet all that time, we tried so hard to protect him, to take care of him. And so we lost him 18 months later. And the first thing you think of is, why? Why did this happen? That compound that they were giving my dad in conjunction with the radiation that extended his life and gave us those extra 12, 14 months um, that we wouldn't have otherwise had if there wasn't a protocol out there. And I think there needs to be more. And I think a lot of strides have been made in the last 12 years. Um, we still have a long way to go. Uh, April 13th, 2004, uh, I said goodbye to my family. Um, um, last will, um, all the goodbyes, and I let, put my life in somebody else's hand. Uh, we need more research, need more doctors out there, so we have more survivors like me that continue the fight and have someone like ABC Squared doing cutting edge research and funding for these projects. The reason it's so important for me to stay involved is first and foremost to honor my dad's memory. And after that, it's to help other people who unfortunately will be facing the same thing that my family faced years ago. While one person is so important, it's when we join all these one persons together until we are this mighty force. We believe it's up to us to be able to communicate that to folks to let them know that there's hope. We fight for those we love. We fight for those we've lost. Together, we fight for a cure. Thank you. <laughs>